Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Mm. Here's me, sorry. Yes. Um, I'm here by myself alone in my closet with my array of clothes. Anyway, but um, yeah, I want to do this video just to update you guys on where I'm at with the process of applying to med school this year. And I don't really need Jasmine to be here for that, and I'm not gonna drive over there. There's no reason for her to come over here. Yeah, 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 I do much. So I'm just making this video by myself. So as you know by the title, okay. Yes, your girl has withdrawn from schools this cycle. Um, it's I'm not sad about it. Don't be sad for me. You know, and I'm not giving up. We have been deterred, but we are not defeated. Okay. It's uh it was it was a personal choice just because I know I know that with my application was really strong guys and my secondaries were great too but with this score that MCAT score that I got it's just not that's gonna weigh heavily and I don't I just don't believe that I'm gonna have much success with that score and because I took it so late and there's not enough time to study and get my score up to where it needs to be to like really combat that score and my low undergrad GPA taking it 27 days after getting my initial score it's just not smart it's not mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not gonna and I'm not gonna take it knowing that I'm not ready a second time and getting another low score you know doing a lot what worse than what I did before me you know that's gonna that's even more embarrassing than getting the first one has to get my hole even deeper so I'm not doing that and that's where I'm at and because it is so late and schools are not gonna accept MCATs from next year it's just it's kind of over it's, it's really where it's at <clears throat> uh you know I have strong faith I you know and every, literally every now and then I'm getting a little weary in the lie but I have faith in God that my future is solidified everything's gonna be fine that there's a purpose and plan for my life that he has and he's made that promise to me and to his people and and I believe that and like I don't know, there's been this, this, this calmness that I've, I've had lately of the past few days because it's already done, you know, like there's no reason to be worried about the future and stressed about this dang on exam and this whole cycle because it's done, like, you know, he wrote it, it's been written and the promise is there, he's going to keep it and it's going to happen. So I don't know why I'd be tripping and I don't know why everybody else be tripping. I mean, I do know because uh, we're human, but just having that I don't know that having that understanding and knowing that that's gonna be okay that helps me get through a lot of things and that's what I'm it's helping me get through this and I'm really okay like and on top of that your girl's tired like I'm so tired so I just uh, you know I'm glad to be done with it anyway so shoot and yeah I went off on a, a tangent but basically <laughs> getting back to where I was at Schools are not taking the next year's exams. I take it in January, which is my plan. They're not going to take that score. So basically, this cycle is, is done. Like, And I was saying I do believe that God has a plan and that anything can happen with God on your side. So by all means, if I can get in with that low score, y'all will know that God is real. That is nothing but God, okay? But I am going to be realistic, and I don't think I'm going to get in with that score, okay? Um, so I have withdrawn from... Like the schools that I haven't gotten secondaries from, and that I know I won't because my MCAT is low. Because they already said that if you don't, if you don't have this MCAT score, you're not gonna get a secondary. And you, if you got a secondary, you can't move forward. So, I withdrew from those schools. Um, there's more schools that I'm like, mm, should I? Should I not? Should I see where it goes? I am gonna leave a few of my applications just there with the score and see how the cycle phases out. And whatnot. When one of the schools, as I called and I sent emails to see what they thought I should do, majority of the schools said yes. You need to reapply. Well, no, they didn't. basically because they can't tell you what to do or they can't tell you what the outcome will be. But I proposed my plan for the next year, and they were like, "I agree with your plan. Like it's solid. I think you should do that. Pre present your best application." And obviously, forty six is not my best. So, and I know this. So. So yeah, there it is. Um, so most of the schools have been withdrawn from. 
I'm gonna keep like five, four or five that I just really like and that I just wanna see where I can get. Um, one of the schools I talked to on the phone was like, you know, but see where it goes. And then, you know, if you don't have success, you you can at least call and say like, what went wrong on my application? And they'll probably tell you, you know, it was your MCAT score, you need more patient experience, you need da 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 And then I'll have that and I can work on that for my next application. So I was like, hmm, good tip, I'm gonna do that. So I'm keeping a few schools, I'm not gonna list them, cause it's just, yeah, it's fine. Um, keeping a few schools um, open, but for the majority of them, we're out of the running for America's Next Time Model. No, for uh, the t- class of 2025 application cycle, yeah. And that's fine, like I'm, I'm not tripping, don't be sad for me, I'm not sad for me. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling. And so, my plan for this next cycle is to. I've already, like, I've already canceled that MCAT and I've gotten my refund. And I put that towards a Princeton review course. Ooh, it's so much money. Oh my god. Hey, my pockets hurt. But it's okay because it's a good investment and. I'm doing what I gotta do. Okay, I'm all for paying. Like, I'm the type of person that will pay for ballet, pay for parking, pay for like extra stuff. I don't know, home appliances that make your life easier. Because I just feel like I don't need the extra stress in my life. If I got, if I'm paying a little twenty dollars, I'm paying that twenty dollars. My sanity and my peace is worth that. Okay, that's how I feel about it. Some people don't agree. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not. It's fine. <laughs> you do you, poo. You do you. Not do me. And I'm doing that with Stink Cat. Like, I'm going to pay this money. I'm going to handle my business. And we're going to be done with it. Okay? I signed up for a winter boot camp. It is, I feel like it's really made for college students who go to school during the semester and have the winter break just to do nothing. Because they're literally, every single day from like 9 to 6 or 11 to, no, I'm sorry, 9 to 4 or 11 to 6. They're like all day. And people who work, it's not really ideal for them. Like, they need, you know. It's okay, but I do work nights, and I'm hoping that my schedule stays that way throughout this year. I was hoping to move to more of an evening shift, but that's the only course that I found that was really matching my schedule and my price range, and I could actually, since it is starting in December, I can, in September now, I could put some money down and pay on it um, up until the start of classes. So, because I don't have $3,000 to lay out, I don't have $6,000 to lay out, I don't have fifteen hundred dollars to just be busting out like that so that worked the best for me and if my schedule changes they said i could uh get in a different class or whatever but we're gonna go with that for now so i'm in that course um i already have access to everything my books are on the way i'm gonna be just i'm gonna keep studying material still fresh on my head i'm just gonna keep studying daily um and the course starts december 13th through january 8th and that works because it's not in it's not going to overlap with my amp1 amp2 courses so that's great and then i'm going to take the mcat right after it i think in january january 17th or 18th so all that will be done by basically like the beginning of next year by 2021 this is going to be a wrap like to me it's like to me i'm still in the cycle although they're not going to take that january score um i'm keeping that mentality that like I'm, not, I'm still here let me just knock this MCAT out and then next year I'll be smooth sailing like I'm just since it since I'm still fresh with it just mm, yeah I'm taking that course and I'm gonna be done with it and I'm gonna be fine but I got the 510 plus guarantee so I'm getting a score I'm getting it okay um that I'm gonna take these courses these uh, post back courses uh, and then I'm just gonna like enjoy my life you know stack up on some money I did for my New Year's resolutions was to like gain some financial literacy so I'm gonna start doing that I already started investing and I'm so excited about my investments yay they're gonna flourish and it'll be great and it's gonna be wonderful yes so that's another thing um learning sign language that's something I put on my application that I was gonna do uh, during this time of like waiting for interviews and waiting to matriculate into med school uh, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do that like by Christmas or whatever well I'm taking this Princeton review course okay well I'll give myself grace on that but that's gonna happen like before I apply next May I'm gonna have learned that I'm gonna still get the 
keyboard with the rated keys, the ivory keys. And then I'm gonna play her music. I'm gonna get back into that. Um, what else was it? Uh, travel. If we can travel next year, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep saving. You know, doing what you do when you're chilling. Once everything has been checked off, you just wait and you just better yourself. And that's what I'm gonna. Let me get the camera. That's what I'm gonna do. Just keep bettering myself and doing things that I like want to do before I start med school. So yeah, that's really it. I really do want to. I actually do want to get some more patient experiences if I can do that. If I can find a place that will let me interact with people. Um, then I would definitely do that because I feel like I need more patient experience. That's just a me thing, but yeah. Um, I'm good. I'm good. I took like this past weekend to just relax and have fun and sleep and watch Netflix and hang out with my boyfriend. So we did that. So it was fun. So stay tuned. Don't leave us. If you do, it's fine. Do what you want to do. We're really not trying to get famous. We're really not. We're just trying to spread the word and let people know that <clears throat> you can get into med school with any situation. Like, it's fine. At this point, I'm a non-traditional student. I'm a double minority. I'm going to be a reapplicant. I'm going to have taken my MCAT twice. What else? Would I be a first-generation medical student? Could that count? Yes. Um low GPA I went to grad school um did I say non-traditional I think I did um you know I'm checking the, the just just the ink un, what is it unconventional inconventional I'm just checking off those unconventional pre-med boxes at this point and I'm just here to let people know that it's possible so that's what we're doing um yeah so don't fret for you girl I'm not I'm chilling so let's be happy let's motivate each other pump each other up pump up jasmine because she's gonna get in a cycle i can feel it it's gonna be great <laughs> and another thing that's gonna be cool is like our other friend morgan is gonna apply to med school next year and we can apply together yeah like i can totally apply by myself that's fine i i'm an only child i do things on myself anyway but i've come to realize that having a support system is key okay so yeah having jasmine there holding each other accountable was great so maybe me and morgan can do the same thing next year so that'd be cool yes you guys that is it that's all i wanted to come on here and let y'all know i am withdrawing i have a plan i'm i'm good with it i'm happy i'm good i'm okay um i'm dropped you okay so thank you for your support keep rocking with us Keep rocking with me, Jasmine, the channel. Keep rocking with yourself. Rocking for yourself because you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. We all can do it. So thank you for listening. If you made it this far, you have a great day, great week, great whatever. You do you. All right? Stay, stay prayerful. Stay lifted. Peace.